<clears throat> so before we get into this week's episode, I really wanted to stop and say thank you very much for all the support. I did end up playing DMZ just because I wanted to test it out. So yes, I did play a Call of Duty game. I still am not really supporting Call of Duty in general because of what they did to Nick, because of what they tried to do to Tim, because of what they're trying to do in general. I hope that with the Microsoft and Activision Blizzard acquisition, all this stuff kind of turns around and things start to get better for the better. We've already seen, which we talked about already, the servers on xbox being up now and all the call of duties being able to be play playable on xbox only for right now but i think that this is the step in the right direction that we actually needed as i always say i'm trying to get more people on this podcast and i'm trying to get this podcast as big as possible so we can actually make some real changes in in the gaming world not only for the games that i plan to make but also just the external stuff that that we see right now like hold activision accountable and, and all the things of that nature so if you do like the podcast, please, please like it. It does help in any way possible. Thank, thank you very much. So today, I am bringing you an update, right? An update on DMZ because I played it, okay? I I don't want this podcast to be so, like, let's shit on DMZ, right? The, thing I, the one thing I realized, which I actually said in my last week's ep episode when I mentioned it just briefly... Essentially, DMZ is in like a beta mode and there is potential there. So when I said that it should be more PVE versus PVP, so essentially it should be PVEVP, not PVEVP. For those of you, player versus player versus environment or player versus environment versus player. The game itself is really more focused on player versus environment. There is a caveat to that, though. Depending on how big the map is that you're playing on depends on how many characters, how many people, other players you're going to run into. So playing on the larger map, I ended up actually running into probably around two teams, maybe. in the. I played a decent amount of games. I probably played 25 games, right? Uh, probably more than that, actually. And I played like a Rebirth Island size type of game, maybe a little or maybe a little smaller than Rebirth. And I ran to probably about two, three, four teams easily within like a shorter span of games. So, I mean, I played like 25 games on the big map and I played like probably 10, maybe five to 10 on the small map. And I ended up running into around probably three or four teams of people, right? Um, naturally it's going to, that's how it's going to be, right? So you're, you're going to, you're going to end up hit, hitting more players on a smaller map because it's just, it's a smaller map. So, um, that goes into my PVP thing where I kind of said like, let's, let's steer away from that. Like, let's make sure that we don't go to, towards that too much. Right. But the game mode so far, and I, again, I never really, I, I, I think I played it one time one time when the game first came out and I didn't really get into it after that. I was really busy. I'm pretty sure I was having like a child at the time. So it was like just a really busy time for me, but DMZ, uh, when I played it this last time seemed like it was more of a PVE experience because it was more, I faced mostly bots and those bots were pretty powerful. I must say like, if you got more than like three or four bots co coming after you, you're pretty much going to, you were going to get melted, especially since you only start off with one, with one plate. That's it. That's all you start off with. So the old war zone is kind of how this is of how DMZ is, which I like that they did that. Like I like that they, that they're, there's, I mean, because we've been complaining so so much, but essentially Call of Duty and Warzone or whatever is trying to create a, a differentiation between D DMZ, Rebirth, and Plunder and stuff like that. So I haven't played pl Plunder yet since Warzone 1, but it seems like DMZ is the way that, the, uh, that Warzone 2 was when it first came out. Excuse me. <coughs> so you have to essentially... You you have to loot like crates or and um, bags and whatever. Like if you kill other people, you have to like loot their pack. So it's like it's like the way it was prior. Um, and then the looting system is a little bit better. Like things don't get stuck in walls and whatever else. Like there's no vomit loot like in in that essentially, unless you find some stuff on the ground after you kill some after you kill like an enemy or something. And by en enemy, I don't mean like a player. I mean 
uh, like like a like a, a a computer player. So essentially, I I don't think that this is that that it's that it's a PvP centered game mode. But I think they need to still get rid of the PvP portion of it. I still think that they need to um, either have a PvP mode or like a more centered PvP mode, kind of like what they have now, and then have a more of a PvE mode where it's just like you and maybe five other people play. It's a good mix right now. I think it's a good mix, but when you run into players, you don't know the difference. That's the that's the real issue. the The issue to me, the issue to me is if you're going to have PvP in a game, you shouldn't be on the ground, almost dead when you realize, oh, that's a team. That's not a. That's those aren't bots. And that's my issue here, right? I for every single time I played D DMZ and ran into people, I didn't know that they were actual people until I was already down. Which is really frustrating at the end of the day when, when you think about it. Because it's like, you could, and it just goes back to what I say about battle, battle royales. Is you do all this looting, you do all this gathering, just for the dude to come through and fucking shit on you. And if you only have one plate, because you didn't get enough money to buy like a two plate, or you didn't find a two plate or a three plate, then you're going to get, you're going to get melted in like one shot from, from, from a shotgun. If you only have one plate. You start off with one plate, you can you can find a two plate. I haven't found a three plate yet, even though I've gone to a bunch of strongholds. But I you I usually buy the three plate. I bought it last time. So I bought the three plate. And it was that's like thirty I think that's thirty five thousand dollars. So you have to go into a bunch of strongholds, get a bunch of money, and then go and buy one. That's what you have to do. So I I like the idea of what they have going with DMZ, but it's just like I I don't like the differentiation between bots and players. You can't tell until you're already dead. That's what happened, especially the first time I encountered players in DMZ. The first, the very first time, the very the the very first time that I encountered players in DMZ, what what happened was was I got one pump shotgunned. My friend got one pumped. I got one pumped. Sorry, not my friend. The random that we were playing with got one pumped. I got one pumped. And then my friend came over to revive me. They were so dumb. They, essentially what happened was, I was I was dead. He, my friend came over to, to revive me. He stuck me and revived me the whole time. It took like, I don't know, it takes like 10 seconds to, to, to revive. It took him 10 seconds. Those dudes were looting my body. Didn't realize that he, that he was reviving me. They were right next to him. And he, they didn't realize. I get up. I kill one guy. I go inside the building. Kill another guy. The third guy I hit a few times. He runs around the back. I go into the back room where I came from. He's trying to run around the other side of the house like he saw on YouTube or something. I go up behind him, shoot him in the back. kill, I, And then I kill all their teammates. I wipe the entire squad myself. I think I think my, my, my friend got in like a few hits. But they downed him first. That That revived me. So, <laughs> so I, I wiped that entire team, and then there was another team that we ran into on the smaller I island. Similar thing happened. I was just like kind of laying in the ground because I saw there was like two or three of them around me. They were all running around me, and then all of a sudden they noticed me get up, and I they started shooting at me. And then I, I put in like I think I had a two plate at the time. I put in two plates, and then I just started shooting. I one guy ran and I think he, he ran up to like a door where the stronghold was and he didn't know the door wouldn't open. So he just stood up there and I just, I melted him and, and got him down. So like the players that I was playing against weren't that intelligent, but the, the, the principle of it is, is I couldn't tell that they were players until they were running around shitting on us essentially. But those other two people I noticed because I heard them walking and I was like, those are not bots walking bots, like walk bots, walk like this, like, or, or but like the players are just like, they're like sprinting. And I'm like, I'm like, those are people. Those are, those are not bots. Those are people. So that I kind of freaked out. I was like, guys, I need help. Guys, I need help. Um, but the 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 last time I played, it kind of made me want to not play it ever again because it, because the situation that I was talking about where I didn't know the difference between bots and people, we went into a stronghold. We were just going through the hallways, killing everything. All of a sudden, this 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 guy jumps around the corner, shotguns me and downs me in one hit. And I was like, that's not a bot. Like, unless they're getting that advanced. 
And then it's like, then my friend went down, I went down, and then our random went down. And I was like, because like, we didn't even know they were coming. And then like, some people are like, oh, that's the fun of it. It's like, no, that's stupid. I don't want to get blindsided in a video game when I'm trying to have fun. Like, the Stronghold was hard enough. The Stronghold, like, everybody had fucking armor. There was, like, a Juggernaut in there. We killed everything, and then they just, they come in. I, I had, like, I had, like, a Stronghold key. I had, like, a Skeleton key. Like, a rare Skeleton key or something like that. Like, one of the best ones. And I lost it all because these assholes just rolled in and shit on me. And it's like, it's like you have insurance in, in that. So, it's like, you the only thing you have on insurance is, is, is your weapon. That's all you have. So, it's like... Now, now I lost all the sh all the loot that I got, all the money that I looted, all my my vests are gone. My 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 three my three plate vest is gone. All because of that shit. My my medium backpack's gone. Like you don't like you have to go find that shit again. You have to go play it and find it again, and then you have to wait for your gun to be reinsured. It's like an hour. I'm like, if it's if it's insured, why does it take me an hour to get it back? So. You know, like, like I know I'm complaining, really, right? I, I'm, I'm complaining, but at the end of the day, it's like there's these, they, these little things make the game either fun or frustrating, and it's like I don't want to have to wait an hour to use the gun that that I had, and like if I had contraband, I don't like contraband guns. I don't want to lose those guns. Why would I want to lose those guns? Because now it's like if I use those guns and I die, now I lose them. So if they're good guns, now I don't have them anymore. So it's so to me it just to me it makes no sense why they would do what they do in, in, in that. Like I like the concept. I think the concept on paper is great, but when you when you when you mix in the PvP and people can just be assholes, like I don't want to play something like that if I'm going to lose the stuff that I worked so hard to get. And that's that's kind of like the the whole concept between I I think it's I think it's H1Z1. What one one of those where you like pretty much lose all your shit once you die so you can go in there you can get a backpack you can get this like cool suit you can get all these cool gear all these cool guns all these bullets and then you get like blindsided by somebody with a sniper and you're dead and then you don't and then all your shit's gone and you're like oh i just i just worked six fucking fly get out of here um i i i just i just worked what six hours seven hours on getting all this stuff now now, now I lost it all. Like, you know what I mean? Like that, that to me, it's just, it's just the reward on the end of that isn't as good as it's just not as good as it should be. That's the reason why I just don't think that those types of game modes should be really wasted time wasted. So I don't know the ins and outs of DMZ, but I know a lot of it. Like you, again, you get weapon blueprints for completing different objectives and stuff like that. Like it's cool. You get the weapon blueprints, but you have to extract them. If you don't extract them, somebody else takes it. You don't, you don't have it anymore. So that's, that's the thing too. It's like, uh, and I also feel like the weapon blueprints that, that they have in DMZ are just a ploy to get people to play the DMZ mode. So I, you know, it's a good tactic. I, I'm, I'm, I guess, but at the end of the day, like, why would I want to play that if I have a chance of losing stuff? But I, I would rather be like a DMZ professional, like be a DMZ player. Like, instead of playing Warzone or play, playing Plunder or play, you know, like, I'd rather play DMZ as, like, a skill or, or, like, playing it as, like, a tournament or whatever. Like, that would be so much cooler, but it's, like, if I lose my shit every time, what's the point of it? It's not, it's not like Warzone where you, where everybody kind of starts off with nothing. Now, it's, like, if you, the more you extract, the more, the more perks you get, too. You get, you get a random perk. You, I, I think it's like there's like a ten a ten extraction streak. I've only gotten like two maybe. Is like my extraction streaks. You know what I mean? So it's like you get ten you get ten perks you just get. So you get like marathon strong arm. Like you get all these crazy perks that like puts you ahead of the other person that hasn't extracted ten times. That's kind of that's kind of where the division I think failed too, in my opinion. The division, the division two. Somebody that plays the game a lot will have better loot than you. So it's like going into a dark zone now with like D division two and even division being out for like several years now. It's like I go into the dark zone. I'm gonna get my shit rocked by everyone, even the dude that just started like two months ago. I'm gonna get sh I'm gonna get shit on. You know, my, my guns aren't gonna be as powerful. My loot's not gonna be as good. Like my backpack that I have, like my my strength, my health, nothing is gonna be as good. 
Call of Duty gets a little bit more of a level playing field than 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 the uh, the division because the division you can have like high, higher amounts of health. Like you could you could set yourself up to be a tank. Like you could tank like fifty rounds, of, like the most powerful, you know, five hundred rounds of the most powerful gun in the game, versus you know <clears throat> being able to like maybe like mow somebody down in like half a mag, or you can do more. Um, I forget what the hell is it called. Uh, like your equipment, you can you can have more, you can have better equipment than somebody else. So, um, you know, there's, there's, you know, there's different things like that, that like make, make or break the game that I feel like people don't really, you know, they don't really get. Um, and that's, that's kind of like the, the middle ground really, um, that, that I think we need to kind of come, come to whenever it comes to playing these, these, these games. So D DMZ, I, I feel like will save, Call of Duty in a lot of different ways. It may even create some like competitive environments if there aren't already competitive environments, like to like win prizes and win game money and stuff like that and win prize money. Um, but they have to do a lot of work to it. Like I, I still think it's it's in its it's in its like I I it's I can't even say infancy stage. I, I I would say if 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 your wife is pregnant, this is like the that's like the first trimester. Like that's how that's how close we are. That's how far we are away from actually getting real stuff in in this game at least that's my opinion i i personally cannot tell you how much i i think it's gonna really do a lot for the franchise itself especially if they do what i said that they should do they should do different pois with you know like maybe like a radiation poi um you know uh the uh, like any so essentially what happens too is is in dmz there's this radiation that spreads. So it starts off in an area and then it spreads and it does damage to you and it eventually covers the whole map. So you have to extract before the, um, the, the, uh, the, before the stupid radiation gets to the edge of the map. So you have to get to a, an extraction zone before that happens. Um, what I think they should do is create the radiation zone and have that zone be like destroyed so wherever it starts doesn't matter what poi it is it gets destroyed and then now you can go in there with a specialized gas mask or something like that and you can you can explore the area so there might be zombies in there there could be like boss zombies with like extra loot like think think of that think of that radiation area as being like a higher tier loot area that but there's like a high amount of risk to go into there it's not just like just better loot you know what i mean so it's like there could be boss zombies and they're like juggernauts with like with like hazmat suits on where they just carry, you know, the miniguns or whatever and they have like rockets on them or something or there's there's like different tech in there like a like a uh, a tank that shoots at you like a mini boss like then there's just like zombies around and the tank and mini bosses are are destroy killing the zombies too but they're also shooting at you if you come towards them and you can maybe like you know you can maybe uh uh hack their systems or something along those lines. You know, make the make it more of a, especially with friends, like make it more of a tactical game mode, D DMZ, than than having it be more of like a PvP experience, because the, the PVE that they have currently in there is so boring. It's like the different POIs again should have zombies or should have you know higher higher like there should be like a boss area like where there's just like straight up just bosses like straight up juggernauts everywhere. So the loot is high in that area too, but you have to have like better guns to be able to fight those things and better loot and whatever else. Like, you know, just to kill, or maybe you need an airstrike or a mortar strike, you know, things along those lines so that you're not, so that the, the, the amount of work it takes to get the high tier loot, it's like people are going to choose their battles more wisely versus like just running into a place because somebody is, is, is in there kill like kind of like what happened to me and my friend. Where we're in a stronghold, we kill almost everything, and then these players come in and kill us. Like, they're going to choose more wisely, especially if there's, like, other bots in the area that are, like, juggernauts that could come in and kill us, or, you know, mutated things or whatever. You know what I mean? It's just an idea of, like, different things that they could be doing. Like, di different the different P P POIs not only have bad, have good enemies, but also have, like, maybe crumbling buildings that, you know, you have to get out of in a certain time frame to get, like, a certain piece of loot. It, you know... It really, there's a, there is so much that they could do with this. There is, there is almost an infinite amount of things that they could do to get this into a better place, to get DMZ into a better place. But I don't think they're going to do it because it's just a lot of work. 
And I don't think that they're here to do a lot of work. They're just here to make a lot of money. So that, with that being said, that's what I always say. Stop buying the things and they'll stop, they'll, they'll stop making it. So if you want DMZ to be better, tell them every time, all these content creators, we all need to come together and all the people that are in my community and other people's community, like we need to come together and say, look, we do not want this anymore. Stop making this. This is not what we signed up for. We want this instead. Like for those of you that are still listening to this, if you've even made it this far, do you tell me that, I, tell me that if you had like a, that radiation area where with higher tier loot, with zombies, bigger bosses, wh whatever, you're telling me that you wouldn't want to play D DMZ on, on, on a daily basis. You get, I mean, you get a lot of experience too in DMZ. Like you, I mean, the lowest amount of experience I got in DMZ and I died was like 9,000 points. That was like probably five minutes, 10 minutes tops of me playing. So it's like, it really isn't that big of a deal. You know what I mean? Like, you could get a lot of points. You could have a lot of fun. Tell me you wouldn't play that game mode that I was just telling you about. About all the different POIs and all the different enemies and all the different environmental changes. Like, tell me that you wouldn't want to play that. And if you are and if you do say that, you're probably lying because your life sucks, okay? But I'm going to be honest with, with, with you. I would play that in a fucking heartbeat. That'd be great. It'd be fun as hell to play. And then that would also split up, like, like I said before, it would be Warzone would be more of a PvP vomit experience. Plunder is a PvP experience, which is fine. That's It's got a different, whole different concept of just getting money, so that's okay. Yes, whatever, we can have the, P, the, the PvP. Um, and then just DMZ would just be a PvE experience almost straight up with just, like, no players. Like, that would be, that would be just focused on either storytelling within a multiplayer setting or it'd be focused on pretty much just like a character development as, as much as much loot, loot, loot as you can gather. S similar to Plunder, but also ha it has its own twist. <sighs> I just I just think it would be so much better that that, that way. But um, that is my update. That I mean that's I mean that's pretty much what I a lot of my a lot of my opinions didn't change, but some of them did. Like as I said, I don't think that it was it's it's more of a PVE experience, but the PVE experience is very dull. It's very like sur like survival mode type of dull. You know, if you've ever played survival mode on Modern Warfare, that's what it feels like. It feels like a survival mode. With some with some other players sprinkled in there. You know? But it's 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 somewhat the right amount of the right amount of sprinkled. But I I think that if there is a maybe like an enemy team like of actual players that come into your to your AO, they should the, the announcer should say something or something like that so that you're aware. You know what I mean? Because because again, I well, that's what happened. Like I I'm just we're fighting bots and all of a sudden we're fighting pe people. So sometimes you can't even tell. You can't even, you don't know the difference. And that's, that's the real issue. Like the, the players need to have a specific thing on them. Like if they have like a red flag in their head or something, or like on their character, like you need, there needs to be more prominent that there's players in the area to, in my opinion. And the same thing for us too. So that they know which ones are the players, which ones are the bots. Cause you can't tell sometimes. And then you're like, you hesitate shooting a bot cause you don't want to, you don't want to like make yourself aware of the area, like for other, for the other players. But then it turns out it's a player and they turn around and shit on you. And it's like, that was a player? Okay, he was moving like a bot. So that's the that's the frustration that I that I get w w whenever I play that kind of stuff. Which is not what I want to do. I want to have fun and I want to enjoy it 98% of the time. But it's like, I can only really enjoy it like 80% of the time. Because sometimes the bots are pretty overpowered. And they also have a lot of fucking armor. Like sometimes, sometimes the bots with blue armor will take like five shotgun shells from like two feet away. And I'm like, how is this guy still alive? Like, I'm, he hit me twice and I'm almost dead. And I have three plates. How am I, how the fuck am I almost dead? You know what I mean? So that, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like that, it's sometimes it gets like to the point where it just doesn't really make any sense. But that's also just Call of Duty issues in, in general. I, I think hit detection's got a problem. The, the net code and everything. Like, I think all that shit has a problem. But yeah, I, if you watched this far, I do appreciate your time. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you've liked, if if you've liked the video, just like it, please. You know, just actually physically press the like button. And you know, if, if you've if you watched this this far, you get you, you got to subscribe. And and you know what? If you uh, if you liked it, tell me why you liked it in the comments.